So in this video, we're going to show you how to texturize hair or take the bulk out of people's hair. So we're going to take in Courtney's hair, a diagonal back section right at the crown or around the occipital bone. And that's going to be my starting point. Now to remove the weight, a lot of people just go in and start chopping away with their thinning scissors. It's very important to understand that when we take our sections, they've got to be vertical. So we're not going to leave any lines but we're going to go in with the scissors on a slight angle and remove some of that weight. So working our way through the vertical sections, making sure we're picking up just thin sections. So we're not picking up a lot of the hair because when we're removing weight, you want to do it very slowly. We're going to take the next section just straight down like that and still continue working on vertical sections all the way around the head. So what I see all the time is people trying to do this with a razor. It's the worst thing you could do because what you're going to do with a razor is you're going to split that hair shaft. All it's going to do is make a lot of flyaways. So again, when we get to the side, you can see it's all done in vertical sections. You're not taking horizontal sections because you don't want to be left with holes. So very thin sections working our way all the way around. Again, not using a razor because a razor is probably the worst thing you could run down um, someone's hair that's completely dry. All it's going to do is create all these flyaways. So now as I get to the crown area, what I'm actually going to use is just my normal scissors. And I'm going to run the scissor through. And as I'm doing it, you can see I'm slightly opening and closing the scissor just to create more of a scooping effect. So to take some of that bulk out, but without going crazy. So again, we're not creating holes in the hair, but just removing some of the weight. So once I get finished, I just smooth it out a little bit with the flat iron. But you can see right here, I end up with a great result, taking all that weight out of Courtney's hair. Just a real clean finish. So now all I'm going to do is just point cut the ends a little bit. A lot of people call this taking out bulk as well or thinning it out. It's actually not. I, I feel like this is just sort of point cutting the ends to make sure that it all connects well, that there's no real lines to it. So if this is the first time you've come across my channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you know when I upload. I typically upload from Tuesday to Friday. If you like my content, share them with your friends. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think.